Well, now the story of Riley Beck. He's a little green country boy, two months ago, laughing and playing with his two brothers. Well, now little Riley is fighting for his life after a common virus turned into a heart condition that often kills the victims. As Dave Davis shows us new this morning, his mom and dad have an important message for all parents. Riley Beck's mom says he's just a normal teenage mutant ninja turtle loving five year old. And that's not all. Honorary, just like his mama. But sadly, there's something that sets him apart from most little kids. Right now, he's fighting for his life. About two months ago, his parents say Riley just wasn't himself. Aside from being diagnosed with strep, he started vomiting, getting chills, and turning more pale every day. I would take him to the doctor for a checkup to see how he's doing, and he said he was severely dehydrated. So we're gonna admit him to the hospital. And Riley got there not a moment too soon. Just 30 minutes after arriving at St. Francis Children's Hospital, Riley started having seizures, stopped breathing, and went into cardiac arrest several times. Riley's mom thought her baby was gone for good, and he might have been if he had crashed anywhere other than a hospital. It's amazing that he was here and the doctors were in the room and there was no time lapse Nothing. between him breathing and then working on him. After staying in intensive care at St. Francis for a month, he spent the last several weeks in St. Louis where he'll wait for a heart transplant. Riley's condition, doctors say, can happen to any child. They eventually figured out that Riley had Coxsackie virus, which can show symptoms like fever, sore throat, and nausea. That virus infected and enlarged his heart, a potentially deadly condition called myocarditis. Now, medical research shows that common viruses, like those that cause rash, pink eye, mono, among others, they can all lead to myocarditis and the victims can die with almost no warning. And as Riley continues fighting for his life, the Becks have learned a valuable lesson that they want to pass along to other parents. I thought it was a, a, a stomach virus. That's what I thought it was at first. Then I just went with my gut instincts, just take them to the doctor, just get them checked out. So if you feel like you need to take them, take them. Dave Davis, News on 6. A couple of weeks ago, Riley was officially accepted on a heart transplant list. His family gives almost daily updates on his Facebook page, Prayers for Riley Chase. So later this morning, we will post more information on this story on newson6.com, including ways that you can help the family.